We've stopped the van because there is a UFO in the sky and although Chris and I are not believers of US UFOs, we can't work it out. There's something crazy in the sky. We're going to go and photograph it. Crazy in the sky. So we're just leaving Holland and we've just crossed the border into Germany. So we're in Germany and we are heading towards Hanover. Yep. Um, we found somewhere to park up for the night because we're going to meet our friends Nila and Timo um, Tuesday evening and they're going to show us around Hanover. So we're really excited for that. We stopped for a bit of lunch and there's a hailstorm. And lightning What under. happened to the weather? So it's our first morning waking up in Germany and we've got rid of the rain from yesterday and the sun has come out but it's really cold. You can actually see my breath. It's the first morning that it's been really cold. I think it was like five degrees but we found this lovely little parking spot just outside of Hanover um, and we've just moved. Here's a tip. Free heating move from the shade into the sun because we were parked up in the shade in the corner so we've just moved it into the sun and already you can feel the warmth coming through the windscreen which is lovely because otherwise Marianne's not going to get out of bed this morning I don't think <laughs> so we're off uh, later to meet our friends Neela and Timo um, who live just outside of Hanover so we're really looking forward to that so the weather forecast for the week is looking good so fingers crossed we should be able to show you some cool sights so we're with our friends Neela and Timo who were showing us around a lovely little town called Wunstorf um, and it's so picturesque it's got the black and white buildings absolutely lovely historical Wornstorf. There was a gentleman called Otis Duva and he was a very very bad man. He actually tried to burn the city down so he had his head chopped off and put in the basket on the church wall. So also on the church wall behind me you can see a set of chairs up on the, up on the wall. I have no idea how you're supposed to get on those and actually we're not sure of the significance but it looks kind of cool right? As we're walking around the town the architecture is really amazing. Lots of old buildings, it feels almost Tudor-like. So apparently all of the towns around Hanover, they have one building where they put like these little creative bugs on. Maybe they've created some kind of uh, intertown contest, but it looks really cool. So another amazing thing that we found in Germany, I have never seen it anywhere else and apparently neither have the local German people. There is a bench. It is filled with solar panels and it's called chilling, chatting and charging. So I currently have my phone 
plugged in and it's charging. How absolutely cool is that? Great technology. Thank you, Germany. So as we're walking around the town, you know us and we are starting to get a little bit hungry. So Neela and Timo, we've said, let's try some local German foods that we can snack on before lunch. So we've, I've got a packet here of Kieserbeschen and they are basically, it's like cheese bread balls. And apparently they eat these in the morning as a treat, uh, as a snack mid morning. It's not a normal breakfast dish, but um, they look absolutely delicious and they smell pretty good too. Mmm, cheesy. They actually taste like a doughy cheese straw. You know, like an English tree straw? Mmm, delicious. I can definitely uh, snack on these. Mm. Um, so this is one of the Brutians that we saw in the shop. Brutian is a generic term for a type of bread with a filling or a topping. Now, unlike our white, brown, wholemeal granary, they've actually got different shaped breads, different styles of bread. So this one's actually in like a triangle shape, but they have various squares, rounds, different types of bread um, and ingredients to each bread. And then also you've got the different toppings or the different fillings that would go with a Brutian. So there's quite a wide choice of bread and fillings. Really, really tasty and tempting. The one I've gone for today is um, one with salad and mozzarella, tomato and cucumber. And um, the bread looks really interesting. So I'm excited to try this one. Mm. I was not expecting that. Mmm. It's like the best croissant you have ever tasted in like sweetness and crispiness and lightness. Um, but it's got this, the darkness on it is really flavoursome and rich. And then there's um, a creamy sauce in it as well. Yeah, this, this is something that will not be shared. This, this is not being shared. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, so we couldn't resist trying one of these wonderful things here. And it's called a vanilla Hörnchen. Uh, she's nodding in the background, so I know that's correct. And um, it's basically like a long donut. And we're expecting vanilla cream inside. And um, so yeah, so we'll give this a go and see what it tastes like. There's only one way to share this. Mmm. 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 Delicious. The chocolate's really like tasty and rich. There was a mm. pocket of cream there, but I'm not sure whether there's more. I found the cream. I found the cream too. Mmm. <laughs> Beautiful. I love you. Thank you for sharing my <laughs> lovely pudding. Amazing. So every town in Germany has one of these structures in the center of town. So the main shield at the top, which it here in this case is Warnstoff, and then below it has the shields of all the local suburbs and regions. So as we're walking through town, you know, we like to look out for unusual things, but never in my days would I thought I would come across a statue of a man pulling a peeing cow. Pretty cool, right? Well, we're in Germany. Yes, we are. And we are in Steinhuder. Right. Yeah. Woohoo! 
and we have met up with our lovely friends Timo and Neela um, who are showing us around and uh, Trudy is off to see the, the sea in, <laughs> in the dark it's a Almost beautiful sunset that's just coming down so we're racing over to the water's edge to see that beautiful sunset woohoo <laughs> We've stopped the van because there is a UFO in the sky and although Chris and I are not believers of US UFOs, we can't work it out. There's something crazy in the sky, we're gonna go and photograph it. Crazy in the sky. So we're walking down the side of the road to try and establish what this <laughs> UFO is. So let's go and have a look. It's way, way, way over there above the trees. Is this an alien landing zone near Hanover? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Three, two, one, back in the room. It looks like I'm posing for you. It does. Yes, I will marry you. I'm exercising so I can eat more cake! <laughs> and Brutian is actually the generic term, um, like we would use sandwich, so it's a bread with various fillings. So here in Warnstuff, it shows you, no, cut, 